In this video, I'm going to show you how you can increase your appointment show up rates. So you can avoid no shows or cancellations. And this is going to work for basically any type of business out there. So if you have a SaaS business or an agency or basically whatever, the way we're going to do this is by setting up appointment reminders with go high level. Of course, this is something that you can do for your own business. You can also do this for your client's business as well. But before you get started, if you guys haven't already, I would appreciate it if you subscribe to the channel. Now let's get into it. So of course, the first thing you're going to need for this to work is a calendar where people can book appointments on. So if you don't have a calendar, you can just come over here where it says calendars and then come to calendar settings new calendar and then there's gonna be four calendars that we can choose from but for this example we can just choose the simple calendar so for this example this calendar right here we can use for our demo calls so I'm just gonna name it demo call and then I'm just gonna quickly go ahead and change up some of the settings and then click on confirm so there it is there's our calendar so now if we come back over here go to calendars you're gonna see that calendar right here so for your business you might have multiple calendars as well that you use for this example we created a calendar for our demo calls but you might have a calendar for your demo calls for your intro calls or support calls or just just random client meeting calls, etc. So you can actually go ahead and set up appointment reminders for each calendar that you have. So let's go ahead and do that now. I'm just going to come over here to where it says automation. So these are the three automations that I just quickly built out. So the first one is just going to be the appointment reminder automation that's going to trigger whenever someone books an appointment. And then the second automation I created was for any no shows. So this is going to trigger when someone doesn't show up to the appointment that they booked. And then the third automation that I created is for those who canceled their appointment with you. So let's quickly go over the first automation that I created for the appointment reminders. So this automation right here will trigger whenever someone books an appointment with you so if we click on this trigger the trigger name is going to be customer booked appointment and then for the filters we're just going to do in calendar and then you just want to choose a calendar that you want to trigger this automation so for this example we chose the demo call calendar that we made earlier and then if you take a look over here when someone books an appointment on that demo call calendar what's going to happen is we're going to get a internal notification so this is just going to notify us that someone booked an appointment on that calendar and it's just going to give us some information about that person who booked so their contact details and then also the appointment time and then after that person who booked an appointment will get a tag and we just named this tag demo you can name the tag whatever you want and then what's going to happen next is they're going to be updated in our pipeline so in our pipeline they're going to be moved to this stage that says appointment booked so if you actually come out of here and go to our pipeline so we come over here to opportunities most likely you guys already have a pipeline for your business and on your pipeline there's a good chance you have a section that says appointment booked so whenever someone books an appointment they're automatically going to be dragged over here in this section where it says appointment booked and this pipeline right here is just a basic pipeline that i'm using for an example so let's come back to automation so after that contact is updated in your pipeline they're going to receive their first text message reminder so for this text message i just went hey contact name can't wait for a meeting at the time that they scheduled and what this will do is basically just confirm that they booked that appointment and then over here they'll also receive an email and this is basically just going to say the same thing it's going to confirm the appointment and it's also going to send the appointment link right here and then what's going to happen next is a wait time so this is going to be 10 minutes before the appointment so 10 minutes before the appointment they're going to receive a text message and this is going to say hey contact name see you in 10 minutes for a meeting check your email for the meeting link and then we're to send the email and the email is basically just going to say the same thing hey contact name see you in 10 minutes for our meeting and then here's the link and this is just the appointment link so if you're doing meetings let's say on zoom you could just connect zoom with your calendar and it's going to automatically generate a zoom link so that's basically it for the appointment reminder now, if you want to you can add to this and make this longer but this simple automation right here is going to make sure that your appointments show up and that they actually remember the appointment that they booked so now i'm going to show you the second automation that i made all right so the next automation that i made is for all the people who didn't show up to your appointment so you just click on this all right so for this workflow there's going to be two things that trigger this automation so the first thing that's going to trigger this automation is if you move someone in your pipeline to the stage that says no show and then the second thing that's going to trigger this is if you go to your calendar look at all of your appointments and then mark that person as a no show so i'm going to show you what that looks like now we come back out of here and then we go to opportunities this is what it looks like inside of my pipeline and you might have something similar so right here we have bill robbins who booked an appointment let's say that this person didn't show up to the appointment we can go ahead and drag this person over here to where it says no show and once we do that that automation is going to trigger and now the second way we can trigger this automation is by coming over here to calendar and then coming over here to appointments. And then in here, you'll see a list of all of your appointments that you have. So let's say this person right here, Bill Robbins, didn't show up to the appointment. We can just come over here to where it says status and then change this right here to no show. And then we can click on update. And just like that, that automation is going to trigger. So now let's finish going through this automation. So the first thing that's going to happen when this automation is triggered is they're going to be updated in your pipeline. And the stage they're going to be moved to is the no show stage if they haven't been moved there already. And then after that, again, you're going to receive a notification and this notification will just tell you that the appointment was a no-show and then down here contact first name did not show up to the appointment that contact will receive a tag that says no show and then after they get this tag they're going to receive a text message and this text message says hi contact first name we missed you at our scheduled appointment your time is valuable and we understand that unforeseen circumstances can arise if you would like to reschedule or have any concerns please let us know we're here to accommodate your schedule and ensure we address your needs thank you so if the contact wants to reschedule they can just text us back and they're also going to receive an email and this email is 
is basically going to say the same thing. It's also going to give them a calendar link where they can reschedule the appointment themselves. And then of course, you can go ahead and build this out however long you want. If you want to, you can add a wait time and then you can send another email and so on and so forth. But what this will do is help that person reschedule that appointment because there is a possibility that that person is still interested in your services and something just may have came up and they were busy. So now I'm going to show you the third automation. So if you just come out of here. So this one right here is for all the people who canceled their appointment with you. So this automation right here is basically going to be the same thing as the one that I just showed you. The only difference is going to be the trigger instead of the appointment status being no show. It's, it's going to be called canceled. And then if you take a look over here, instead of that contact being moved to the no show stage of your pipeline, they're going to be moved to the canceled stage of your pipeline. And then again, you'll receive a notification basically telling you that that person canceled and then they'll receive a tag. And instead of this no show tag, we're going to use the tag that says canceled. And then for the name, we can just do canceled. And then again, they're going to receive a text message. And then for the text message, it's going to be different. Instead of it saying, sorry, we missed you. It's going to acknowledge that they canceled. It's also going to ask them if they had any problems and if they want to reschedule. And then again, they're going to receive an email and this will just confirm that they canceled. It's also going to ask them if they want to reschedule. And if they do, they can click this link right here and it'll take them to a calendar where they can reschedule the appointment. So that's basically going to be all the automations you're going to need when it comes to appointment reminders. Now I built all of this out for one calendar, which is my demo call calendar. But if you wanted to build this out for each calendar that you have, you can simply duplicate this automation and then you can connect any calendar that you want to that new automation. So guys, that's going to be it for this video. I hope you found some value in this. Having appointment reminders for your business is very crucial because with these reminders, you're going to be able to improve your show up rate and you're going to be able to save a lot of money. And like I said before, you can also build this out for your client as well because any business will benefit from having appointment reminders. So if you guys did enjoy this video, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. I'll see you in the next one.